Okay, here is a simple effect by Warner Miller. He calls it, the devil takes the hindmost. So I don't know if you've heard that idiom before, but the idea is the person who lags behind gets taken. So if you want a picture of being out in the woods with your friend and the two of you see a bear charging you and your friend says, we'll never outrun the bear, just reply, I don't need to outrun the bear. I just need to outrun you as both of you bolt off for your lives. Okay, so it kind of follows that theme here. So what we need is we need two random piles of seven cards each. So if you were here, I'd have you uh, shuffle the cards as much as you would like. You can even table wash the cards. That would be fine. Okay, so we'll go let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Okay, hopefully I have seven in each. Very good. And now what I need you to do is uh, free, freely select a card from the remainder of the deck. Okay, so the any of the cards that are left over, so maybe you'll choose, let's say this one right here, as your special card to note. Now, as the performer, I wouldn't see this, right? But the spectator's card is the Ace of Clubs. So this is the card for them to remember. So have them set their card on top of either pile of seven, maybe they'll set it there, and then bury it underneath the other pile of seven. Okay, now we're going to deal out the cards into two piles. So as you watch the movement of the cards, think about those two running in the woods away from the charging bear, okay? And so the last one in the dealing decides who gets taken. Okay, so let me just show you. So you just deal out into two piles, left, right, left, right. And then you just pay attention to which pile receives the last card. Looks like it goes right here. Okay. Well, the devil takes the hindmost. So this little packet here is gone, okay? Go ahead and grab the other cards. Do the same thing. Pay attention to where the last card gets dropped. It's over here. The devil takes the hindmost yet again. We'll do that a third time. Final card gets set on the left. The devil takes the hindmost. Okay, well, who survives all of that? devilish capturing. Well, let's just take a look. Oh, it looks like you did. Now, as the performer, I won't know that this is their card, of course. The spectator will know that this is their card, and I'll know that this is their card nonetheless for the simple reason that the mathematics driving this guarantees that this will be the spectator's card. Okay. Very cool, simple effect. So you just do everything that I did and this will work for you every time. So start with these uh, cards representing devils, I guess, 666. And so um, you have two piles of seven each. Remember that, two piles of seven. And then have the spectator randomly choose a card from the remainder of the deck, which they did. Set it on either pile of seven, set the other pile of seven on top and then just do the left-right dealing, and the final card to be dealt out indicates the pile that will be taken by one of these three devils here. And in the end, there'll be only one who evades capture by these devilish characters. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.